the announcement from the process description, we have uh, a flow rate required to be maintained uh, is 189.2 cubic meters per hour. And here, it's another thing that you must be aware when you are doing your process simulation. We, in the Aspen High Seas, we have three kinds of uh, uh, flow or volume flow in the Aspen High Seas. I get this, uh, this from, from a post that I did in my process Telegram channel also. Okay? So you can uh, search there for more comments. The first one is talking about liquid volume flow. You have the actual uh, liquid volume flow. So what is the actual liquid volume flow? Uh, the calculations related to the, the flow is based on the mass density at the current pressure and temperature. So if I am doing a process, if my process is 20 Celsius degree, in our case 21.4, and it is 1.02 bar, the Aspen High Seas will get the, those information related to mass density and will calculate the volume. However, there is also the liquid volume at standard conditions. In this case, the, our, the Aspen High Seas always uses mass density at 1 atm and 60 Fahrenheit. It means that if you are running your process at 85, 85 uh, Celsius degree or 60 Celsius degree, the mass density of your system is different from the mass density uh, uh, considered by the Aspen High Seas if you inform the liquid volume at standard conditions. And there, are, there is a less uh, uh, liquid volume flow consideration by the Aspen High Seas is that the standard ideal. What is the standard ideal? It uses the mass density at 1 atm and 60 Fahrenheit, as we have in the liquid volume standard, but only if we are talking about the if the liquid uh, if the components are liquid. So as we have in uh, in water, and uses uh, or uh, mass density at 60 Fahrenheit and saturation pressure, okay? Or GPSA mass density if the component is not liquid at 1 atm and 60 Fahrenheit. So it is very, very important to you understand that because in many, in many cases, what I see uh, students doing or people doing is that uh, I have, uh, I need 189.2 cubic meters per hour. So what I will do in my Aspen High Seas, I will see here standard idea liquid volume, 189.2 cubic meters per hour, it's wrong. And it can lead to a lot of, of deviation if at the 15 Celsius degree and at your operation point, there is a big change in the mass density of your fluid. And it is, uh, if we talk about the hydrocarbons, it can be much worse because the, the, the density varies more uh, when we, in, uh, according to temperature, then when we are talking about liquid, uh, about the, uh, the water, okay? So what is the correct way to, to do here in this, in this uh, exercise? Instead of uh, adding the information standard idea liquid volume flow, what I will do is get the liquid density. That's why it was so important to me to, to inform the correct, uh, add the correct information to my process simulation. And I will multiply that by the actual volume flow because what is, uh, when we, we go to the field and adjust the, the flow to 20 cubic meters, we are talking about the actual volume flow. We are never talking about the standard ideal. So in, in many calculations, it's uh, more reliable to use the mass flow because mass, mass flow doesn't change with temperature changing with the, the pressure changing. Okay, so what I will do right now is do the, the multiplication 
So you can see that it's very close to the standard ideal liquid volume, but it could not be the same, okay? So be aware of that.